According to officials, the sirens were triggered by a malfunction. There are no reports of tornadoes. No need to panic. Try telling that to Kathy. To repeat, there is no tornado activity. This was a mechanical failure. Mm. The poor thing is convinced the house is going to be flattened just like the comeback. She wants to sleep in the basement. No, no, no. She doesn't want to do that. Not in Tad's man cave. You kidding? That's scarier than actually sleeping outside with a real tornado. Careful. How's, how's Trevor? He and Jenny slept through the whole thing. See? See? Does everybody feel better now, huh? <laughs> Oh, and I and I saw on the other channel that triple Doppler thingy, Majiki. That's there's nothing coming, no weather, not even a breeze. Well, it was a sign. I mean, you can look at me cross-eyed and blame my dietary habits, but mark my words, it was a sign. Mm. <gasps> oh my God! What is it? Something is coming this way, and it's headed straight for Emma Lavery. Well, the good news is the sirens went off by accident. You're safe, Princess. I promise. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Let's go see. Look. Look! No wind, no rain, just a beautiful, big, fat, full moon beaming down on us. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. You know you're supposed to say now, right? Good night, Mom. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'll tell you what, I'll even read it to you, okay? You go upstairs, put on your PJs, and I'll be up in a second. Off you go. You are so good at making people feel safe. Hey. Guys, what's going on? Uh, well, we're here to pick up Emma. What? Annie did this? Yeah, well, she's getting remarried tonight. Uh, we have a court order for Emma to be there. Oof. It was obviously just a false alarm. <laughs> Since you and Adam are already so happily married, you might consider postponing the ceremony. Have a real celebration. Family, friends, a minister. No. 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 We'll, uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll celebrate tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. You, uh, you didn't get blown away. That, that's a good sign. Yeah, according to the news, it was just a malfunction. You okay? I remember the last time I heard those sirens. The tornadoes, they, they demolished everything. I, I didn't know where my dad was. I was afraid he was hurt. Or worse. I'm still afraid he's gonna get hurt. He won't. Not with you here. I, uh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Um, you're here for the vows, aren't you? Excuse me? Dad and Annie, they're renewing their vows tonight. Oh, that's why he wanted to see me. Witness number two. Uh, kind of weird since, you know, he thought you and Annie were getting it on. It's old news. Uh, you, you sure about that? Um, you're, you're still living in the gatehouse. Yeah, Annie and I, whatever it was, it's over. I'm just saying. No, you're just making trouble. It's over. It doesn't have to be. Do you really want to hurt your dad like that? No, I want to protect him. And the only way to do that is to get him out of this marriage. Will you help me? Ah, oh, Scott, you heard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Sirens, tornadoes, acts of God. <laughs> Nothing will stop this ceremony. Yeah, so uh, you two are here to uh, stand up for us? Why are you harassing us? You know everything there is to know. I helped David, he helped me. I bought this bar. Yeah, and this whole six months to live thing, you're helping with that too? Like he told you, he gets his meds delivered here. And does he always come and pick them up? Sometimes. Sometimes, like today. And he gets a phone call, supposedly on the last Christmas he's gonna spend on the planet, and he decides to spend it here with you, in a dive bar rather than with his son. Oh, here we go again. Son of a bitch. 
Returning to the scene of the crime, huh? I would think that your attorney would advise against that, especially given your aspirations. I just want to get back to Pine Valley. Oh, don't be coy. You may be looking at the next district attorney of Pine Valley. Our last DA died very unexpectedly. How hard is it when you only have a few months to live and everybody just wants you dead? You trying to drive another man to his death? Willis was in a car accident. Oh, of course he was. A life cut tragically short. Mm. Yeah, when young people die, it's, it's always tragic. Present company excluded. You came after me, Tad. You've been harassing me. All I want is to live these last days of my life in peace, but for whatever reason, you won't let me. Right, because I know you. You're not a decent person. You're not the kind of person that's going to drag himself off to the North 40 and just die quietly, peacefully. No, you're going to do what you've always done. You're going to spend your last putrid breath trying to make people miserable, whether it's six months from now or 60 years. All right, you know something? This is really getting tiresome. You want to search the place? Go ahead. Tear it apart. Hey, come on, counselor. Let's see what the mad doctor has sent. Do that. 